Here's 111-4, uh, Durak Barra, again, lot number 19. He's a slumlord out of the 30-litter sow. Uh, she'd be a turntable he-man. And, and again, I think this pig is, is very high quality, uh, not the most cooperative or doesn't appear to be, but he's cute-headed. He's big, big ribbed. He's stout-backed. Uh, he's really square up high. Uh, I guess um, for some people, he might lack a little bit of tail length. Uh, my guess is dad was in there processing after he got done with the land race litter and, and got, got a little generous on, on taking some tail off. But I think that actually helps his balance and, and allows you to see just how square that pig is, uh, how good his balance and his symmetry works into him. Yeah, good pig. Uh, wish y'all could have been here to see him wave hello uh, when he's uh, uh, making the tail comment. But uh, uh, this, this pig is bulky in his middle. Uh, he's broad in his chest. He's short in his back. His lines and, <clears throat> excuse me, and symmetry uh, all fit together extremely good. He's got muscularity. He's got look out ahead of his blade. And, again, uh, that litter of pigs, they've all been bulky. They've all been sound. They've all been square. And, again, this one's got the, the, the uh, rib and dimension to go ahead and just kind of hang on to. And you pick your endpoint, You pick the show. Uh, again, he's not been the most cooperative. But that front view, uh, when they come out of the holding pens, that sends you to the scales. Good pig from Sheese. Again, that's lot 19, 111-4, Duroc Barra. Uh, he'd be a slumlord, turntable, he-man. Grandma there uh, did, a, did an outstanding job for us. Uh, and Mom has been on a fast track doing a nice job as well.